All right, today we're going to look at a real special bike. This is a 1963 Schwinn Stingray. That uh, serial number on this one is an E313287. That's going to be a uh, early May 1963. That's the first year that the uh, Stingray came out. We're going to talk about some features that make this bike unique uh, compared to the later model uh, Stingrays. We're going to show the mechanical workings on the bike. Uh, We'll point out flaws on the bike, but it's hard to point out flaws when you got a 63 Stingray. And uh, we'll take it down, we'll take it for a ride, and uh, just talk about some differences in the, which makes this, this 63 unique. Now what the first thing is that most people notice right off is, is the sissy bar is different. It's different on the 63 and it's different on the 64. Now this is a person's USA, the square sissy bar. Now what even makes it different from the 64 is it did not have a crimp here where the uh, cue bolts go in to hold the, uh, the solo polo on. So this is a Persons USA without the crimp, a square back sissy bar holding on a Persons USA solo polo seat. This seat's got a uh, nice vinyl on it, uh, it's got a real nice pan on it. You, know, you can still see the, the bottom uh, warning label on the bottom, one rider only, not for two. Persons USA. We're going to show pictures of some of those smaller details at the end of the video. So watch the video all the way through and you'll see some of these uh, smaller details. Then we'll move right from there to this back wheel. Uh, back wheel's got 36 spokes on this S2 back wheel versus the 28 spokes that you saw after uh, 1964. So this is center stamped. Uh, that's, so the stamp is right here where the spokes would come through at. It's got a nice Schwinn uh, tubular S2 center stamp on this back wheel with the 36 spokes, Bendix USA wheel. And this uh, front wheel, it is also a center stamp, but it's an S7 Schwinn tubular wheel. So it also has an S stamp, and on the front hub, we have Schwinn uh, inscribed into the front hub. Now on the uh, back tire, we have a good year, uh, all weather, uh, made in the USA back tire. The front tire is a Schwinn, uh, Westwind uh, S7 size. Uh, on the handlebars, we got the wide handlebars, the 63, I think it was that 63, 64, and maybe 65 uh, had the wide handlebars like that. This one is ribbed all the way. Uh, where it clamps on, which was consistent with the 63's. Um, the headset, the headset on the 63 and 64 was a little different. Uh, instead of having two bearing cones, this one you set the bearings in there and then this part actually goes down acting as the, the bearing cone. Now, I think this was 63 and 64, they had them like this. The Schwinn head badge does not say Chicago on it. Uh, which would be correct for 63. The, um, the seat post clamp has AS on it, which was right for 63. These are correct style pedals. They're a real nice end cap on this one. You can read it really easy. Uh, on the crank, the crank, we took the uh, crank off, took the bike completely apart, looked at it, cleaned everything, greased it, it's been tuned by Trader to go. The crank is dated January, uh, 63. The um, the forks, uh, these forks have a small date uh, on the inside. The date on this fork is December of 62. So it's right at the end of 62, just before 63, which I think is probably consistent with, with uh, the, the late month year parts going on the uh, early model for the next year. Uh, we took the uh, we took the wheel all the way apart. The uh, the front sprocket is stamped '63, and we'll, you'll be able to see that at the end pictures. And what else do we have? So we talked about the seat, the wheels, the tires, the pedals, the date codes. Uh, so you've seen the front wheel spinning here. It's going to a nice rock and stop. We'll look at this one right here. Spin it and I'll stop it. Alright, I'm gonna get it spinning again. It's 
good working order, nice example of a rare 63 bike, uh, Maya 63. Uh, so you think about here what you started right here with and started it all and what these stingrays evolved to. You know, after this we went to fenders and then we went to white walls and then we put a spring front end on it and then we had a two-speed kickback and then you had three-speed and then you had a six shifter and then you had five-speed and then you had a 16-inch wheel on a crate and then we put springs on the sissy bar and then we went with a uh, you know, drum bricks on the front, disc bricks on the back, mirrors, blinkers. But you know, when it comes down to it, you know, this is the one everybody wants. Basic, no fenders, May 1963, original Schwinn Stingray. We're going to take it down, we're going to take it for one last ride, and then uh, we're going to put this one up for sale. Thank you. All right, we got it outside. We're going to take it for one final ride. Uh, uh, some mistakes we might have made on my on the first part of the video so that the date code up here uh, We got it on the front um, on the on the axle Now I took the axle all the way out of the front tire and it's date coded 63 I think I said sprocket on the uh, on the beginning of the video. So it's on the front axle And then of course it does have some flaws on it. You know, it's got rough spots on the top of the chain guard uh, It's got a little bit right here here typical scratches and scrapes on a bike that hasn't been repainted and then uh, the chrome is really nice uh, you know it doesn't look like it was ever laid down on the corners there but it does have a mark right here it's kind of a peculiar spot for it to get rid I'm almost thinking this bike was hanging in somebody's barn or rafters or somewhere for a long time and that's probably where they had a strap or a rope or something on it, it was right there uh, other than that, I mean, we got a real nice piece here. Uh, chrome is really in good shape. Bike works great mechanically. You know, I, I pedals, everything free. Everything, everything that's supposed to move, moves. Everything that's supposed to be tight is tight. So I'm gonna take it for this little ride and uh, show how it works. It's not a comfortable seat, but. That's it. That's your 63 and a half Stingray going up for sale. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the interest. I think I'm going to take it for just a little bit longer. Thank you.